you already know how to subtract when you have to take a 10. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use that to subtract with numbers that have both 10s and 1s. Here's an example, 23 minus 7. We start with the 1s place. We can't subtract 7 from 3. So we have to take a 10 from 20 to make 10 ones. We cross out the 2 in 20. And we enter a 1 here to show that we have one 10 left. Now we put a 1 here to show that we have 13 ones. Now we have 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7 is 6. So we put a 6 in the ones place in the answer. There's nothing to subtract in the tens place. So we bring down the 1 for the 110 we have left. That gives us 16. So 23 minus 7 is 16. Another example, 25 minus 6. We start with the ones place. We can't subtract 6 from 5. So we have to take a 10 from 20 to make 10 ones. We cross out the 2 in 20. And we enter a 1 here to show that we have one 10 left. And we enter a 1 here to show that we have 15 ones. Now we subtract 6 from 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. There's nothing to subtract in the tens place. So we bring down the 1 for the 110 we have left. That gives us 19. So 25 minus 6 is 19. Last example, 27 minus 8. We can't subtract 8 from 7. So we have to take a 10 from 20 to make 10 ones. We cross out the 2 in 20. And we enter a 1 here to show that we have one 10 left. And we enter a 1 here to show we have 17 ones. Now we subtract 8 from 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. There's nothing to subtract in the tens place. So we bring down the 1 for the one 10 we have left. That gives us 19. So 27 minus 8 is 19. In the rest of this lesson, you'll work problems like these. You can use these boxes if you want, but you don't have to.